Hey, hello. I'm Pat, and uh, I wanted to start a video blog of my restoration of this Cobia 17-foot boat. As you can see, I didn't take any video at first because uh, I didn't know I was going to do this. But after seeing a couple restorations online, I wanted to put my restoration project up there to let people know uh, what it was like and uh, how long it's going to take me. So this is the picture of the boat the way I got it from my brother. And uh, it's a mess, but it's an old boat. He has a different one now. But uh, this is what it looked like when I got it. And I'll go through some pictures here of what it looks like. There's the front, there's the uh, steering console and seat, which I sense have taken out and trashed. It was cracked and rotted. It wasn't really worth saving, unfortunately. That's the transom, rear boat, bait wells, seats, outside of the boat. And that's the hull underneath. It's in very good shape, pretty sound. What I understand it was a good little boat, and it's time, so I can't wait to get it done and start fishing in it. It's the rear, rear seats. So I'm gotten a lot further from these pictures to now, as you'll see in just a minute. All right. Magic of photography, right? This is where the boat is now, stripped out, cleaned up a little bit. And uh, there's the rear of it. Here's where I've taken the floor out. And you can see the gas tank in there, which I have since gotten out and found that it has pinhole leaks. Probably not worth fixing, I would guess. Don't want to risk it leaking again. I've been told it can be fixed, but I'd hate to put it back in there and have it spring a leak once the floor is done. I just I just don't want to deal with that. So I'm just going to get a new one eventually. Here's an up close of the fuel tank. That's the front bow. You know, I have a lot of wood rot. So what I've decided to do is to take it one step further. I wasn't going to take the stringers out and, and the foam, but there's just too much wood rot down there. And uh, so I've decided to do the inevitable and rip out all the stringers, redo all the stringers, new foam, and start over. Because there was a leak in the back and some of that foam is saturated with water now. And that's just going to end up rotting out as well. So I'm just going to start over from there as well. Here you can see a lot of the rot from a leaky fuel tank as well. And uh, just water intruding on the area and rotting out those back corners up here. So that's where I'm at now. And I'll take you outside and see where I'm at as far as ripping out the foam, which is a lot of fun. All right, so now we're outside. And as you can see, this is the best way I've found so far to get this foam out of the boat, is using this heavy-duty iron crowbar. If you start it, and just ram that crowbar all the way up into the foam, it really comes out pretty easily. I'm just going to try to do it with one hand here to show you. It rips it out pretty easily. Whoops. Probably should have got somebody to do this. But as you can see, it comes up fairly easily once you get it all uh, cleaned up. 
and then we'll be able to uh, scrape the rest of it out uh, later. And then I have a lot of grinding and cutting to do, of course, still. So, anyway, that's the first video of the project with many more to come. Let me know if you have any comments or suggestions. I appreciate it. Talk to you soon.